In this video, we are going to create an array which contains functions as elements. So let us start with some scripting now. So imagine I am actually creating an array and currently it is initialized to an empty array and the first element which is supposed to be made available for the array is going to be an anonymous function. So I'm saying that the first element inside the array itself is a function. So as part of this function I would like to say something like uh, first for now. So nothing much after that. So similarly I would like to check another function sorry another array element which is also a function but I would like to have an alert with second. Similarly another element which is going to be two but with third another again which is going to be three and in this case fourth now you have created and initialized an array with empty later you added four elements to the array and each of those elements are nothing but the functions themselves and each of those functions carry out different tasks. So now in order to execute all of these functions the only way first of all I have to have a for loop which essentially goes through each of those elements in the array and while I get that particular element I really wanted to execute the respective function. So let us start with the for loop and I would like to start with i and it has to go till the length of the array i plus plus so I have the for loop and now let us get that particular function so function f equal to array of i so which means if i value is 0 I am saying that get which is available inside array of 0. So array of 0 itself is a function and I am saying that get this definition into a variable called f. So f contains the definition of this particular function during the first iteration. For the second iteration f is going to get the definition of this. For the third iteration f is going to get the def definition of this. So once I have the respective definitions all I would like to do is just execute the function. So the definition available inside the f is going to be executed the moment I write the parenthesis here. So let us see if this works. So I need to receive four alerts one, two, three and four. So you can automate this without really using in this way or assigning to any variable. So as long as I have access to the array element which is a definition as it is a function definition I can just include the parenthesis right there. So this essentially gives the definition. Once I have the definition I am saying that please execute immediately. So this syntax is also valid. So I go in here and now you can see first, second, third and fourth. So in that way you can either have those particular array elements to be assigned to the respective variables or you can just directly execute those particular functions which are available as elements inside the array. Mm -hmm.